All right, guys. So as you recall, um, in our very first video, um, we um, showed you what we planted here in our um, main um, raised bed hugo culture um, garden planter, and we showed you uh, the progress that the, that the uh, plants had made from the time we actually planted the seeds until our uh, first video. So we're going to give you a, a um, 12 day uh, update. Um, it's been exactly 12 days since we uh, planted these seeds and we're going to show you what they're looking like uh, right now after uh, just 12 days in the soil. Okay, so if you recall uh, from our first uh, video here on this front row, we planted uh, spinach and these these, these these spinach plants are, if I must say myself, they're looking very well after just um, 12 days. Um, here in the soil and uh, they're, they're doing quite well they're actually growing uh, really fast and um, just a quick a quick note we only get about four or five hours of direct sunlight here in the location where we have our planters at so for them to be doing this well with just um, only four hours of um, four to five hours of sunlight daily direct sunlight daily um, they're doing quite well um, if you also recall um, from our first video in our back row here, we planted um, carrots, and they were just beginning to peek above the ground in, in our first video, and look at these guys now. Virtually every carrot seed we've planted um, have, has come up, and they're growing quite fast, as you can see here. So we're really uh, pleased and excited about um, the growth uh, rate at which these guys are growing and the progress they've made in uh, the first 12 days um, in the soil. And here we're going to give you a close look at um, our onions that we planted um, in between the um, spinach and the carrots in the middle row here. These guys are a little hard to see, so we're going to take you in as close as we possibly can um, and, and show you what we, got, we have uh, going on here. Uh, not quite sure if you guys can make these... Um, onion um, sprouts out here in this video they're very tiny at this point and kind of uh, hard to see but they are indeed coming up as you can see here they are indeed coming up And they're doing um, quite fine. Um, during the seed germination process, we've been uh, watering this garden um, once a day in the morning. And we're going to do that until all of our seeds um, actually sprout above the soil. And um, once they get about two inches, two to three inches high, we're going to go ahead and mulch this entire bed um, to maintain the um, moisture level in the soil. And this will um, decrease vastly the amount of water that we put on this garden. Once we actually mulch this garden, we probably won't be putting very much um, water on it at all. Because as I just mentioned um, earlier, um, the garden is located in partial shade. And um, with it being in partial shade... Um, we don't anticipate having to water it much after all of our seeds germinate um, anyway, but and a layer of mulch would definitely add an, an insulating um, layer here that would help, pervert, help preserve um, moisture in the soil. So again, um, one little final shot here. We're, um, they're doing very, very, very uh, well at this point, and we're very pleased and excited about the progress we have at this point. Uh, next up in our video... Uh, if you recall from our second video, we showed you guys how to um, build and um, create horticulture um, in a smaller downscaled version of what we have here. If you recall from our second video, um, we planted cucumbers and early peas in this planter. And although they've not um, yet um, sprouted above the ground, we do expect to see those guys coming up within the next two to three days. Um, also, uh, if you recall correctly, um, we have the field pea, the uh, early peas here pinned in the front row, and we have the uh, cucumbers back there um, in the back row. 
So again, um, within the next couple of days, um, we should start to see those guys um, pick above the ground and um, prepare to make their way up this trellis that we built for them to, um, to climb upon and uh, run across this, this pole here um, at the top. Uh, next up in our video, uh, we didn't film our um, construction project uh, process on this um, Hugo Culture Planner because um, our previous video we showed you guys how to do that, so you should know um, at this point how to um, construct one of these these um, for yourself if you're actually inter interested in um, doing that. Um, at any rate, this particular um, planner that we um, we built, it's approximately four feet long by approximately two feet wide so we have a lot more space in this planner uh, this downscaled um, version um, hugocultural planner than we have in this one we did that because we plan actually I'm um, gonna plant we actually have several things planted in in this planner already we went to um, our local Walmart and purchased a couple of um, tomato plants here um, our Walmart was having a sale, a 288. These the guys are really, you, these are like the um, I Love Sun expert. They're called the um, Big Boy um, Tomatoes, and they're only 288 um, at your local Walmart right now. So if you catch them during the sale, you can probably grab those guys for about uh, 288 um, a piece uh, while they're having this sale. Um, also, we, um, while, while at Walmart, we purchased um, several packages of seeds, and we're going to um, give you guys an update on exactly what we have going on as far as what we planted here in the way of seeds. This first row here, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see a slight indention in the soil heading all the way to the other side of the, of the planter. That's um, where we planted our peppers. We have actually have um, red bell peppers planted here. They're the um, California uh, variety of um, red bell peppers. Um, they're actually designed to do well in harsh climates. We're here in Tipton, Georgia. We don't really have a harsh, dry climate, so I'm expecting these guys to really perform um, here in this planter. And um, when it comes to planting things in a container garden like this, bear in mind that certain plants uh, go well in a planter together. So some some plants are what they call um, nitrogen fixing plants, and and others love phosphorus more. But tomatoes peppers and everything else that we have here in this plant there um so far um are, are, are plants that work well together um as as, as uh, container mates so here in this um third row here uh towards the um front we actually um planted mint here in this row uh i like mint i'm not a huge fan of mint i do like mint um but one of the main reasons that i chose to um, plant mint here in this planter also is because mint is a great um insect repellent and it's a great um, um rodent repellent squirrels birds virtually nothing likes mint so if you have issues with rodents in your garden um, insects in your garden, plant some mint, and you won't, you won't have that problem. When your mint comes up, you, your, your, your pest control, your pest problem will go away once your mint begins to um, begins to sprout up and grow. Um, at any rate, in the um, these little notches we have right here in the front, we have about a a, a one foot um, space here on this side and a one foot space here on this side. What we actually did in those spots were was um, to plant some plant some broccoli. Broccoli, if you know anything about broccoli, um, it really spreads out um, when you grow it. It really, you know, kind of requires its own um, space um, when you plant it in, in, in the ground. Um, but when you plant things in a container garden like this, it's much more of a manageable type thing. And you can actually um, plant uh, plants a lot closer together in a container than you can if you were just planting them in the ground. And they'll do quite well. So what we did here... Uh, we made three holes here, and we planted our broccoli seeds in each hole. We dropped several seeds in each hole um, because typically, when you you know plant seeds, you, there's no guarantee that all of them, all of, them, of the of the seeds are actually going to uh, germinate. So um, we planted three seeds in each hole. We did the same thing here. As our broccoli begins to sprout and comes up, um, what we'll do is 
we'll thin them out. We'll we'll leave the healthiest, best looking um, broccoli um, sprouts um, in the container, and we'll tip, simply take a pair of garden snips or scissors and snip off the remaining um, broccoli plants that don't look so well or that aren't doing so well um, once these get up to a certain um, height. At any rate, we'll bring you guys back here um, shortly um, and keep you updated on what we have going on. Thanks for watching, and please remember to hit that like, subscribe, and hit notification button um, at the bottom of this page. Thanks, guys.